guest is Dr. Jung Jide, a musician and ethnomusicologist whose research focuses on intercultural art collaboration, cultural identity, musical hybridity, and the changing functionality of traditional music in cross-cultural settings. Dr. Jung has been studying and performing traditional Korean music since elementary school, graduating from both the National High School of Traditional Korean Arts and the Korean Traditional Music Program of Suwon University. As a J-room and sodium player, he has performed professionally throughout Korea and in other countries such as the United States, Canada, Russia, and Indonesia. In 2011, he moved to Sumatra, Indonesia to study traditional Sumatran Javanese and Balinese music under the Dumaswa Scholarship Program. He relocated to Bali in 2012 to pursue an MA at Institut Seni Indonesia Denpasar, where he researched the ethnographic and acoustic role of the Balinese Suling in Gamelan Gong Kabir. He is currently a doctorate student in Media and Culture Studies at Universidad Gahagama in Yogyakarta of Java and his dissertation, Poetics and Politics Gamelan Arirang Performance, analyzes the construction of traditional knowledge, intercultural power relationships, and issues of representation through the lens of Korean-Indonesian hybrid musical performance. But while living in Indonesia, Dr. Jun has founded the five Korean-Indonesian collaboration ensembles, such as Jinggong in Bali and Gamelan Arirang in Java established and directed the first festival Gugak Indonesia and presented about cross-cultural music collaboration at academic conference um, such as ASPE in Jakarta, Indonesia. Uh, his topic today will be about mythology of hybrid Confucian music, Munio Jeria. Today, my presentation is about mythology of hybrid Confucian music in Korea, Munmyo Jeria. What is Munmyo Jeria? Munmyo is the temple of Confucius. The term of Moon is from posthumous name of Confucius. And Jeria is memorial service, and Ak means music. However, there is a huge meaning differences Ak in Joseon Dynasty. And now we are going to talk, talk about this later. This music, Mumyo Jeria, was first introduced from Song Dynasty to Goryeo Dynasty in 1116 and has functioned for offering Confucius and some Confucian scholars within the context in ritual. And this tradition has been handed down until today. This ceremony has been offered until now, twice a year. And this Mumyo Jeria is classified in the Gugak category. Gugak is Korean traditional music. So to analyze this, uh, I will use the theory of Roland Barthes mythology. Barthes theory mythology examines the tendency of a contemporary social value system to create modern myth. And Barthes argues myth helps to naturalize particular worldviews. Maybe later we are gonna talk about this concept of Ak, or if I summarize. Ak is always combined with the concept Li. However, uh, in this presentation, I'm gonna just talk about the Ak. Ak is an apparatus of a king to reign the country and people. And also, if you read the text in the Akakebom, there is a pretty interesting fact. The writer of Akakebom wrote three types of music together, Aak, Dangak, and Changak. Aak is the first. This ritual music is the first. Dangak was the music that was played in the Chinese palace. And Changak is original Korean music. However, the order, if we see the order of the text, Aak is the first. And then Tanga and Hyanga. Even though this one is uh, the original, however, we can see Hyanga is the last. So we can guess it represents the class of the music, which one is more important. The Mummyo Jeria is classified as one of the music in the category of A. Ah. Our object, the Mummyo Jeria now, the present Mummyo Jeria, decontextualization by modernization and globalization because it is regarded as a traditional music. And who, and since when, 
it is considered as a traditional music. It is combined with the discourse of tradition. And also music, the meaning of art is articulated with the art performance context. So music is as art. So that's why this Munmyo Jeryak is not only performed in Munmyo, but also performed in concert hall, like National Gugak Center or some other places. So even though it is ritual, but it is performed in the concert hall because there was a decontextualization. Uh, because Munmyo Jeryak is regarded as a music for the performance, not for the ritual, of course. It is uh, continuing offered by National Gugak Center musicians or National uh, Gugak High School students. However, it is uh, still performed in the concert hall. And as I already said, Mumu Jeryak is also in the category of Gugak. And also, this ceremony, Mumu Jere, was designated as an important intangible cultural property number 85 by Korean government in 1986. So with this data, I'm gonna conclude with social and uh, Bach theory. So the first level, the level of language, the signifier, mun, myo, che, rie, a. There is still no meaning. However, it is combined with the signified, the object, what is the signified? The object, the music, the, the object that is indicated by signified. That is this hybrid music, Mumu Jeria. So these signifier and signified are combined. Mumu Jeria becomes a sign. And in the level of a miss, this sign becomes a signifier again. So denotation, what is denotation? Mumu Jeria is the den denotation. So what we know, what is Mumyo Jereak now? And there is the denotation. Korean hybrid Confucian music with Chinese old instruments or Korean musicians and with some specific musical system or clothes, costumes, yeah, the kind of things. So in Bart's opinion, what makes myth is a connotation. The connotation of Mumyo Jereak is nationalism and Confucianism. Nationalism, it makes people know Mumyo Jeryak is Korean traditional music. It's not Japanese traditional music. Or maybe some people can decode Chinese traditional music. However, it is already classified as a in Korean traditional music category. Of course, the music has been also changed, acculturated in Korean society. And also Confucianism, Koreans have a Confucian tradition. They still believe, or they have this kind of ideology. Even though the modern Korean people has been changed a lot, but if we see this kind of a ceremony, it actually really, really represents Korean people still have this kind of a tradition. Or before Korea, there was a Confucius who had really, really important position or very high position in the society before Korea. So these kind of concepts were combined, uh, creating the myth of Mumyo Jerea. But if we want to analyze more deep uh, how this knowledge has been changed and, and what does it implicate politically. This is one of my research theory uh, I, I analyze uh, with this uh, theory uh, two objects, Korean music and Indo one of Indonesian music, especially gamelan music. So maybe we can discuss more after presentation in the discussion session. Okay, yeah. Thank you very much.